Hi, I'm Brian Alexander, and this is my amazing story of openness. Uh, it's about Dracula. Um, the way this starts is, a few years ago, I was getting ready to publish an edition of Dracula in print. This is Bram Stoker's novel. And I had, so on my hard drive, a whole copy of the book. I annotated the whole novel. And my wife and I were talking about this and decided it would be fun to publish this online as a blog. Because if you haven't read it, the whole book is all content, little bits of content, dated every one of them. So 15 uh, May, 3 June, that kind of thing. So quickly started a blog and published all this up. And I thought it would be a fun way to get used to the thinking about the book in time. And be a fun way just to share the novel because it's an exciting novel. I was totally surprised by the response. Now, this was out on the open web, a simple blog. There were no graphics, no design, just copy and paste to each post. I mean, very basic idea. And it got readers and more readers. And then the readers would, as they sometimes do on blogs, post comments. And the comments were fascinating because they would be by first-time readers who would be wondering what was going on because experiencing the book in that format opens up little moments of suspense and tension that you wouldn't normally think of. So there'd be a week with no content. And you'd wonder, how is Jonathan doing? How is Mina going to recover from this? Or you'd have eight posts in a row, and it would seem like it was happening at a lightning pace. So you had first-time readers who'd be anxious, and they'd post comments like first-time readers would say in a book club. What's going on? Where can Dracula be? How are they going to get out of this? And then you would have veteran readers saying, Oh, wow, isn't it great how Stoker laid the groundwork for this? And then Dracula scholars came out, popped out of the woodwork, and they would say things like, Yes, this one passage is important if you think about the manuscript that's as yet unpublished. And then we start talking about this back and forth. It's kind of like having a, not a seminar, but a stack of seminars all at once, open for the whole world to see. Then it got picked up by MSNBC, Der Spiegel, Boing Boing, and it spread the readership. I mean, it was just a fun, bustling experience to learn about the book. And as every teacher does, you, know, you learn from something as your students react to it. Learning more about how the novel really works, learning more about its depths and how much fun it was. And then um, seeing this community begin to form and ripple around it. Years later now, we're relaunching the Stoker Dracula blog, and uh, a friend from a college in Pennsylvania has decided to contribute content. So he has made many Google Maps. So now the whole novel, the course of the plot is mapped out. So you can follow it as as the heroes fight with a vampire across 19th century Europe. Um, it's just a wonderful experience. I couldn't have had this any other way. If I published this in print, I would have had a, I don't know, a tenth of the response. It would have been drawn out over years. If I published it behind uh, Blackboard's firewall, nothing would have happened. Now, this is truly an amazing story of openness.